Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new tactics video. And today we've got Julian Nilesman's 4231 that actually managed to go invincible in this save. If you guys do enjoy the tactics, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And also do come over to the Twitch, it's going to be on the screen and in the description. And if you want to get even more involved, please do join the Discord. There's over 515 of you guys in there already. Do come and get involved, it's a great place to be. So, guys, we're going to start off with his current side, Bayern Munich. Now, we have got two binds in the testing today because I actually know up a retro database made from the mad scientist a fantastic guy and what a guy he is but let's go ahead anyway and talk about this current team this is going to be the Bayern Munich of today and as you can see it's absolutely dominant it really is we won the Champions League we won the Bundesliga we won the Pockel and also winning the DFL Super Cup scoring 111 goals and only conceding 23 across the board an absolutely incredible season and one that I'm really really proud of in terms of the data hub we will have a quick look general performance we're looking at three points 0.26 goals per game, sitting at only 0.68 conceded. And you know what? The pass completion also is really, really impressive with this system. To be honest, most sort of 4 2 3 ones are, and it's something that we are used to seeing, obviously, on this channel. And do you know what? It's just an overall incredible tactic. Obviously, I know Bayern are a really good side, but overall, in my opinion, to win this many trophies, I'll show you this tab as well in the competitions. You can see here, it's going to be Nabry getting the pretty much majority of the goals, winning the league. Obviously, winning the Champions League, the Pockle, and the Super Cup. It's a quadruple winning season. You can't really get much better than that. And we now go over to his former side, RB Leipzig. The one which he did leave, obviously, to go to Bayern with. And we had an incredible season. Not with one team, but with two. You can obviously see here the highlighted teams. We tested with Augsburg, obviously a team which he was at as well. And RB Leipzig. We managed to win the division with RB Leipzig. We also won the Pockel and the Super Cup with Timo Werner getting back to previous form with 46 goals. And Kunku obviously going to Chelsea. But at the moment, he's still at Leipzig with 12 assists and also a really good display in the Champions League and generally across the whole board as well. Um, but three trophies with them, a really, really impressive season. And in terms of the data hub, we will look right now. 2.88 goals per game, which is still really, really good. The pass completion looks very similar to what it was at Bayern Munich, which just did impress me, to be honest, because obviously Leipzig midfield is not as great as Bayern's. And the conceded per game, a little bit higher, but still really, really impressive. Obviously sitting at 0.82, which we love to see. And in terms of the other team, I'm going to show you them as well. It's going to be with Augsburg, which we are going to go over now and go into the competitions tab. You can see here, um, quite an impressive season as well with Augsburg. Obviously, we did pick up a few more, you know, a few more draws and one more loss. But obviously, they are predicted to finish a lot lower down the table. And to finish second is really impressive. Obviously, we knocked Bayern down to third place. Dortmund had an awful season, by the way, coming in at eighth, which is not good at all. And not the best display in the pockle here either. But do you know what? Augsburg are predicted to finish actually in, as we can see here, 14th. So it is an incredible season pushing them all the way up. And in terms of the date hub, we are going to have a very quick look again. 2.5. So a little less goals, but still more than enough to obviously secure a second place finish. A very good pass completion. Still under a goal a game, which is obviously more than ideal and something which we do love to see in these saves. And you know what? So far, so good. But we have got one more surprise, which I've already spoiled, which is going to be testing with the retro Bayern Munich side. And this is going to be tested with the retro Bayern side, obviously using a retro database made by the goat himself we all love him we really do and this is going to be the invincible season now we were close to doing that with Bayern, obviously not close enough. With this team, we absolutely dominated it. We also were runners-up in the Champions League against an incredible PSV side, absolutely incredible side. Unfortunately, not a great display in the Pockle, but we did, however, bring home the Super Cup. So two trophies in this one. So the new look Bayern team obviously did do a lot better, but trust me, a lot of the teams in this database are absolutely incredible. So I'm still impressed to go invincible, obviously, in the Bundesliga. Obviously, some different teams compared to what we used to see in of current day. And Leipzig obviously don't even exist. So that's an interesting table to look at. And you know what? Overall, ridiculously impressive how this tactic has performed across four very different saves. If you're wondering why we kept it in Germany, it's pretty much where Nagelsmann has been from day one. He's managed a lot of German teams. And I wanted to throw in a retro test. If you guys do enjoy me using the, the occasional retro testing sort of tactic and, you know, test, do let me know. Leave a comment below on what team you want to be seeing tested with on this retro database. But in terms of the data hub, we are going to have a little look. General performance, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. 3.91 goals per game. Pass completion sitting at 86% and conceded way under a goal a game and 0.38. So a really impressive season with both Bayern Munich sides and Leipzig sides and also an Augsburg side. Let's go over now and break down this fantastic 
tactic. So, I want to say quickly, before we do break down this fantastic Julian Nagelsmann tactic, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and also leave some comments on what tactics you want to see next. And it would mean a ton as well if you can come over to the Twitch. We're live pretty much every single evening right now, so it'd be an honor to have you guys there. The link's going to be on the screen and in the description, and also I'm going to leave it as a pinned comment. But let's go ahead now and break down this tactic. So this is going to be Nagelsmann's FM23 tactics brought to you from him to me. That doesn't really make any sense, but we've got to rock with it anyway. Now, as you can see, what have, we got really got some really good feedback on that last video. We are going to have an attacking version and also a defender version of the tactics. The one which you are going to be downloading from FM Scout is going to be this one right here. Um, do stick around though, because I'm going to go down in a lot of detail on the attacking version and also the defensive one. If you do want to get the download files to those, Twitch subscribers get them and also Patreon members. You also get early access to both of these. So it is a really good place to be. And also you get some really good perks as well, which you can find out on the Twitch channel. But let's go ahead now. So Julian Nagelsmann's FM23. So it is based around the 4231. Obviously, the unique thing about this, obviously, is having a shallow striker positioned a little bit more to the right hand side. But we're going to base off it from the default one. A positive mentality in possession. You want fairly narrow, pass into space, play out of defense, focus play down the left, and overlap left with short to passing and a slightly higher tempo with mixed crosses. If you're wondering why it's obviously focused down the left, it's because the fullback is more attacking naturally down the left, the Alfonso Davies, and obviously this wing is on support, which gives this fullback a lot more license to roam and get further forward, hence why the focus play and also the overlap is on the left. In transition, you want counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the fullbacks and the centre backs and take short goal kicks. Out of position, you want the higher defensive line, high press much more often, and also prevent your goalkeeper distribution. And going over to the player roles, there is going to be a nice mixture, so be sure to pay attention. We are going to go ahead with the sweeper keeper on support on take more risks. We're going to have a wing back, which I believe is going to be a little bit different now. This one is going to be on support, on sit narrower, run wide, get further forwards, and then going over to the other side, the other wing back on attack is also on sit narrower, run wide, cross from the byline, and also get further forwards. Two ball playing defenders in this system, both on exactly the same instructions, both on defend, both on the default, take more risks, and also hold position. We then transition into the midfield. We have a deep line playmaker on defend, shoot less often, dribble less, and hold position. And next to him, a box to box on support on simply roam from position. Nothing too crazy on them ones. We then go over to the left hand side, which obviously is the side where the wing back is attacking on an inverted winger on dribble more and cut inside. And then on the right hand side on default winger on attack, roam from position, dribble more, run wide, cross more often, cross from the byline, get further forwards and also stay wider. We then have the shadow striker in the team on roam from position, dribble more, take more risks, get further forwards and also move into channels on the attack and duty. And also to finish that off, the advance forward on attack, on shoot more often, tackle harder and also move into channels. And that is going to be the default version broken down. We're now going to go over to the attacking version, which is obviously if you want to, you know, tr probably hunt in a game or you're going in against a team which you should be beating comfortably, you want to try and get the goal difference up. Little scenarios, you'll know when you want to use it. But we are going to go over to it now. So take a, take a visual image of this one, obviously. Feel free to pause it, come back and copy it. Um, so a few changes to this one. The first one is going to be the attacking mentality. Obviously, you can see some positions have also changed up a little bit. This winger is now going to be on attack as well as the fullback. So it's going to be a lot more sort of attacking down this left hand side still. The deep line playmaker drops up to a support role instead of defensive. There's no actual sort of tweaks in terms of the player instructions. Hence why I'm not going to show you them. But um, just a few of the mentalities change, you know, on the players as well as the team mentality. Just a lot more committed going forward, a lot more attacking mentality. In possession, you want, again, it's going to look exactly the same, but we have changed a couple of things they're going to be run at defense and also be more expressive this is ideal if you are really chasing a game you want to make a real impact and obviously you know the more attacking you go the more vulnerable the more vulnerable sorry you are at the back but sometimes you need a goal desperately and this is exactly what you can do in transition it's going to be literally exactly the same and out of possession we've actually gone and kept it the same as well though you could you could a big could on this you could go with a much higher line but i felt like that just made it a little bit more a little bit too vulnerable in my opinion but if we are talking you know 90 seconds a minute you need a goal to go back into the game or win it and you need the win go with a much higher line but you will be vulnerable but sometimes you need to really go you know max out and go for a goal and that's going to be the attacking version so there are a few tweaks compared to obviously the default version and we're now going to compare the default version to what is going to be the defensive version the tactic you want to use if you're sealing out a game or possibly you want to go in you're going in against a big team you want to go in a little bit more cautiously and this is going to be the changes so 
can see right now, we are going to be looking at a couple of changes just alone in the, um, the team instructions. We're going to have the starters, the wingers are both going to be on support. The, we actually changed the shadow striker to an advanced playmaker on support as well. The fullbacks both dropped to support as well. Obviously, usually this one is going to be on attack, but he takes up a support duty on this one. We're going to go with a balanced mentality. Mentality, Sorry, don't know where that come from. A balanced mentality with that one. In possession, again, we're going to look at exactly the same stuff, but we have actually increased the time wasting too frequently. Now, this is something which only have on if you're sealing out a game. If you are using this tactic to go into a game with, obviously don't have it on right from the get-go. But if you're a couple of goals up or even a goal up, you want to seal out a game, you can obviously have it on frequently and that is the best option. In transition, it is going to be exactly the same. And out of possession, the one change is going to be the standard defensive line makes this tactic a lot more balanced it makes it a lot less sort of attacking like and a lot more better defensively i wouldn't recommend going any lower with this system but this is basically going to be a fantastic overall tactic you know you're getting the default one which is by the way whenever i test it is all done with this one and then like i don't show it but i do play a few games on the attacking and a defensive to see if it actually makes any changes and it works really really well so this is the one you're going to be downloading but feel free to copy or subscribe to the twitch or the patreon to obviously download the other three but i never like to say you have to pay for them because you don't you can copy them by simply following the instructions on the videos but that's going to be it for today guys hope you guys have enjoyed this tactic video again leave some comments below on what team you want to see next what manager you want to see you know recreated or teams you want to see tested with and i'll be sure to make that happen for you guys if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and i will catch you in the next one